Hello and welcome to a reaction of the Jurassic World Dominion trailer, the final trailer to release before the movie comes out, I think, because we are now less than two months away from the official release and oh, oh my god, it's gonna be good. I can't wait. So I was actually away when this trailer dropped and I was like at Warhammer. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? Really? You drop now? <laughs> so I was like, I had to download it on my phone, re-upload it and quickly like skim through the trailer to find a screenshot to take for the thumbnail. So I have seen bits of it, but I, it was no audio, no, no nothing like this. So I'm, I'm really excited. Without further ado, are you ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Turn up, turn up. Ooh. Ooh. I had a baby, that's impossible. I said possible. Hey, girl. You look just like your mother. Ooh. There's the fox. I knew it. it, it, it beta does get taken. I promise you, I am going to get her back. Liar! <laughs> Ooh! Genetic power has not oh, been cool. unleashed. Oh, that's cool! We made a terrible mistake. Oh, ooh, is that what Laura did? The doomsday clock might be about out of time. Oh, this looks so good, man! Oh! Freaking OG characters and everything. Oh! Ooh, Atrociraptors! Released to hunt down Owen Grady? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh if our world's gonna survive. What matters is what we do now. I can use your expertise. Hell yeah. You Hell yeah. That tune man. A baby raptor. I made a promise we would bring her home. You fed raptors. You made a promise to a dinosaur. Yeah. What? He actually gets to do the flare thing! Somebody. What? So we saw this thing. Be right. What is that? Biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. You saw Spino though! <laughs> wow! See? Not so bad. Ah, that makes sense. So, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh, whoo, whoo. oh my lord. Oh, my. Okay. We, 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 I know we're going to do the thing where we skim through and just like break down everything. But wow. That was so good. The, the music, this like, I don't know. There was some sort of composer uh, that redid the Jurassic theme tune. And I've used it in a lot of my live streams. And he just nails it so hard with the... The, the, I don't know, it's just the bass or some sort of instrument that's doing, oh, it's just so good. And you hear it there. Oh man, this is awesome. You know, when Jurassic World first came out, I don't think they ever thought, no one thought that they would end up with something like this. I, I honestly believe they were like, ah, it'll be a quick cash grab. Maybe it won't do too well. Because you saw that with everything, with the advertising, with, with the toys, it all seemed half-assed. But then when it's done, it did so well. It was the highest gross, grossing film ever when it came out before Star Wars a couple of months later. And now here we are with, you know, now we have the budget. Now we have the, the, the staff back. It's just, it looks so good. It looks so freaking promising. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's do this. Yes, yeah, so you have this scene here with Owen Grady and they, they sort of hear... Um, blue and beta off in the distance. And it's kind of like, I feel like that's the introduction to them. Um, they're not just like coming across them. It's like almost like a, a wolf returning, you know, sort of out. And even Maisie's a bit confused about uh, how it's, you know, Blue's managed to reproduce. But they also mentioned that it's like a perfect copy of beta. And that looks, oh, Blue, sorry. That looks like it could be an actual puppet, an animatronic. Ooh, maybe with some C, the, the eye might be CGI. But the base of it isn't. I think that is an actual animatronic. Oh, bless it. Look, it's so cute. And this is the fox that obviously we've seen like some of the toys. You've got Beta and then you've got this fox. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe this fox was Beta's friend. And then these poachers have killed the fox and Beta comes over and is like, no, why are you, why are you not alive? And then, of course, this whole trap uh, catches it. So obviously these people or the poachers have been keeping an eye on them for a while and know that, you know, this fox is... Or maybe it's not. I don't know. It, it, could, it just feels like 
if we're probably going to get a little bit of that, like, oh no, the fox is dead sort of thing. It could just be a complete trap and it, it might as well be. Um, and then this is quite interesting. The little interaction between Owen and Blue, showing that Blue's really angry, baring her teeth. Uh, <laughs> I just love this. We have this all the time, the surfing technique. But wow, yeah, look at that first shot. So Quetzalcoatlus just out in the wild, uh, nesting on top of, I don't even know where this, I'm gonna assume it's somewhere in America by the looks of it, like New York or somewhere like that, the high rise like that. This is interesting, they don't show it here, but this is of course the scene where Ellie Sattler's looking at the locusts, and we've seen in some other screenshots that she brings one of the locusts to Alan Grant to look at. Um, and it's Maisie actually. So I think we've seen Alan Grant, Maisie, and Laura Dern infiltrate. Uh, you know, biosyn during the day before night comes, you know what I mean? Like, because at night, this is when all the fire's raging, when the battle happens. This seems to be predating. Like, biosyn know they're coming in here. I don't know whether any are stowaways. Maybe Alan Grant is, possibly. That's why he's dressed up as, like, a, uh, a scientist. Um, and then this feels very much like the prologue or something like that. This is an ending chase possibly this also those two shots feel different one seems like galamai is just running through a car park with a stationary car and then this is the actual chase from the end of the uh of the film and here two of our main characters like laura dunn and Je uh, jeff goblin but we also see uh the scientist there oh alan grant's here too and this i i feel like maybe it is biosyn i feel like uh jeff goblin's already already here at biosyn but alan grant and uh uh, Ellie Sattler aren't. I always, I always get it confused. I just, I still call him Jeff Goldblum, Jeff Goldblum, uh, Ian Malcolm, whatever. <laughs> and then this is interesting. This whole underground, actually, you can see right here, uh, the, the battle arena where they're facing the baby miniature baryonyx with the robotic arm, or at least it looks like that. Yeah, 100%, it could be that. So Owen Grady might have snuck in. I feel like these are working with Biosyn. You know, Biosyn on, on the front of it has like a very, you know, good facade. You know, they do lots of good and work like that. But then really they're, they're orchestrating stuff like this. And here, is that Barry? Oh my God, do we have a first shot of Barry ever? It might actually be Barry. Yeah, I think this is Barry. Wow. Okay. So they also, okay, he disappears instantly there. Uh, so we're, we're doing this sort of technique. So... Barry's working with the mercenaries. NT, what is NT? That must mean, I, I feel like this is the albino atrociraptor, like the, the blue of the, the evil raptor packers, if you were. Uh, but yeah, that, I think that's 100% Barry. Um, but how did he get roped into these the, this crew? And also, these raptors don't seem to be aggressive, um, which is interesting. And I'm wondering if we've got anything to do with the mind control from Camp Cretaceous season four. Uh, coming into play here. It could very well be this is a harbor or some some sort of port. Biosyn have decided, right, we're just going to get rid of everyone. They're blowing our cover, something like that. Again, we got the boat here showing that I think this is also where the Mosasaurs kept up. Um, and there's also been word that Biosyn's actual facility is near this place, which would, I guess, make sense, I suppose. Stop them having to go from America to Canada to Malta and how they're flying backwards and forwards. You have America, then we fly to Malta. This is probably midway through the movie. And then we have the whole Biosyn. We've probably got two spheres of action. We've got the Biosyn happening. Then we've got this happening while Alan Grant, Laura Dern, oh, sorry, so Ellie Sattler, Ian Malcolm and Maisie are off at Biosyn. We've got Claire and Owen and I assume Barry as well wrapped up in this whole thing. That Atrociraptor looks awesome. I love the, the white. It looks so good. And then the <laughs> it's like, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, I guess. <laughs> Why not? But then there, there seems to be a lot of Atrociraptors. And this I'm very confused about. So, for a start, we don't see any person on a scooter, and then Chris has a look, and next thing we just have a guy- How did you get there? How did you not see a Carnotaurus? <laughs> or hear it? It's like, until he turns around, and then he's just got a headphone in or anything, and then he gets nommed on. 
I love that, like, the snap and the, the recoil of the head looks great. But again, we've got some very malnourished Carnotaurus kind of showing its rib cage there. And he gets... <gasps> you know what it is! This is the guy! Do you remember the ages ago there was a competition to get eaten on screen? I bet he's the one who won the competition! I bet it was him! I mean, I was gonna say, oh, I wish it was a kid, but at the same time, could they have done that? Can you show kids getting eaten by dinosaurs? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had it, have we? But yeah, he's he must have won the competition for him to take center, center bit here. At least it would make sense, right? They're in the trailer. They won the competition. I don't even know what it was. It was like a raffle, wasn't it? To help raise money. <laughs> it just gets chopped up by an Allosaurus. That's beautiful. Wow. And then another Atrociraptor. How many were there? There was like six or something. And then we have this bit, which was Triceratops. I think Apatosaurus, Gallimimus, Paras in the water there. Maybe that's not an, uh, uh, a... Oh, the Brachiosaur to the left. So Brachiosaurus survived. It could be the Mementosaur or something like that. A Dreadnoughtus. Um, and then this is all happening at the end here. It's just so good, man. I love this. I mean, we've already been copyrighted or whatever. We should probably just play. I want to play it through again after this, just with sound on again. And I thought this was the case. Uh, they definitely were looking lower at some sort of dinosaur, so it wouldn't have been blue because that's too high. But why? Why is Owen pointing a gun at Beta? By the time we've seen Beta, they're surprised that they've even had a baby. So it's possible that Owen doesn't know the raptor too well. And that's definitely an animatronic. And of course that one too. <laughs> it's just brilliant. I, lo I love this. There's just so much. This shot as well. Oh my god. We finally get um, Ian Malcolm actually doing a sort of flare. It looks like he's holding a boom mic. But I think it's like a mop or something that he's just dipped in uh, petrol from the, uh, the broken jeep or something. And he's lit on fire. Oh, we can't kill Jeff, can we? We can't kill- Look at him go! What a legend! <laughs> and, and maybe that doesn't work and we have this scene. Oh, but I mean, we got to talk about, you know, the one and only thing that I've mentioned before. And I was kind of hoping that it- I, I still believe it's not going to happen. And I've seen some people get annoyed at me for possibly spoiling it as well about the way the Giga dies. And we'll get to that when we get there, obviously. And then we- This is so odd- I've, I've seen so many comments that have said, why is Pyraptor jumping in the water? So many reasons as to why a Pyraptor wouldn't do this. For one, it's freezing cold and it's in a dam, right? I think. And so there would be a current. So wouldn't it get like sucked down? Two, the whole feathers thing. Three, what? Where would your brain go? <laughs> Where is it making to? Is there must be like cracks on the other side. So it's going underneath. And then we have them jumping over a crack. Chris Pratt falls through, dies of hypothermia, end of Owen Grady, so GG, well done. But it won't be. This man has survived pyroclastic flows, possibly the hottest temperature you can ever experience on Earth. And yet here he is now, jumping into the water, experiencing the coldest temperature you can- Freaking! Are you sure he's not like a Marvel superhero or something? Is he not Superman? Is that what we're hinting towards here? And then- we have a lovely ballet. This thing has very good control underwater. Um, and as, as it obviously turns around, I'm assuming that Owen Grady will do some spin, grab onto the side of it and get pulled along or something like that. Here we see some of the main cast after the, the uh, Jeep has been, uh, what you might call it, turned around. So this is back at, you know, Biosyn's main facility. Because uh, it's kind of like a donut. There's like a hole in the middle. Um, I mean, if you've seen the video where I sort of recreated it and from the image we've seen before, it felt like this. So this looks like in that area when they first get out. Uh, you've got, you know, Dr. Wu's there as well. So I think this predates this bit, obviously. And then, of course, this is the tower. And this is where it's like, is this how it's gonna... Okay, so if the Giga dies, I'm sorry. If the Giga dies this way, I, I'm genuinely sorry. Because, honestly, if the Giga gets crushed by a tower, is that how we're going to end it? The, the, the last death is going to be the Giga? And I don't care if, like, we have a fight and then the Giga gets thrown underneath and Claire goes, eh, and presses the button. I feel like it needs to die a different way. We can't have it, you know, get crushed. And I think this Giga, yes, maybe it's, um... Yeah, it's, it's got a killer instinct and it's been taught, it, but that's the thing, it's been tortured, right? So shouldn't it, you know, 
survive? It's it's been a tormented soul, and yet here we are crushing it to death. Just kill the people who did all this stuff to it, and have it just roam loose somewhere, and then form a protective boundary around it. So we have uh, Laura Dern falling. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna kill Laura Dern. You kidding me? Nah, it's not. Ha it's not happening. No, 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 no. It can't. No, it's not happening. It can't happen. No. I mean, then we have them inside, right? I'm assuming, because Owen Grady was outside a second ago, and then it smashes through. Does Laura Dern have her jacket? She's got a jacket here, but does she have a jacket in the other scene? Okay, yeah, we've seen that one. No, she has a jacket here. I think, yeah, so no, 100%, no, this is afterwards, after we have some comic relief and Owen Grady goes, well, that was a close one, and then, of course, bam, it smashes through. It really should eat Owen Grady there at that point. I don't know how he scoots out of the way if this huge head comes through. Look at that! It's gonna be easy fit. It would have got him! Oh, but wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that! Whether that's the actual animatronic, there's a level of detail there that makes me feel like it is, but then there's probably some CGI over the top. But it looks beautiful. Okay, guys, one last round. I just want to do it before we go. One last one with volume, with gusto. Here we go. You like it? I'm already struck. I don't care. <laughs> Watch it again. The music. Maybe that's impossible. Oh, this is it. The final. You look just like your mother. It's so good! I love the little feet of the baby! Oh. I promise you, I am gonna get her back. Oh. Love the snarls. Beautiful. Genetic power has now been unleashed. We made a terrible mistake. I'm assuming he's talking about the locust there. He's gotta be talking about the locust. About out of time. Yeah, it, okay, so I paused it. It really feels like this bit is all of a sudden these these have opened. And this is like Biosyn going, ah, just kill them all. Because nobody wants this to happen, even the people there. And no one really runs off because why not? That was a weird Velociraptor call. I haven't heard that one in ages. <laughs> How did he do it? How did he get there? Oh. If our world's gonna survive, what matters is what we do now. Okay. I can use your expertise. You come in or what? I love that. Expertise at Alan Grant, of course. The baby raptor? I made a promise we would bring her home. You made a promise to a dinosaur. Yeah. One. <laughs> I feel like Jeff Gomes is just having a throat lozenge there, like... Everybody you said what? Somebody. <laughs> So the pirate has seen what they've got and is deciding no. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get away from them. Ice and fire! Because carnivore the world has ever seen. Of course, we have to end it there. <laughs> oh, we need to play bingo with this. Not so bad. Yeah, I thought so. Oh wow. There's so many sounds, like after a second viewing of it. That are from different dinosaurs. You've got this like throat guttural sound from the Giga when it's sort of rearing up. That's a T Rex sound. I thought it's after it gets hit by the thing. It's somewhere, somewhere here. If we listen, no, it's there. Is that yeah, yeah. that one? <laughs> yeah, that's from like Jurassic Park three. But oh my god, oh I could I could be here for ages. I could be here for ages. There's one last scene I wanted to just pick apart here. Is this one so? Obviously, I feel like this takes place when they're trying to leave the Biosyn facility or something, or it has to be because Kayla loses her like cargo plane or whatever you want to call it. And then here we are in the plane or helicopter or whatever you want to call it that Alan Grant manages to get to the facility in. It's so good. I love it. <laughs> okay, we're going to round up here because, like I said, we could be here for ages and there's probably a lot to dissect. Again, if, if Giga does die that way, I'm very sorry. I feel like maybe what they'll do is descend it and then Giga will get its head stuck and that'll give them time to get out. I don't want it to die like that way. It's already got its head in, so to just descend wouldn't make much sense because then it's just like, uh, okay, my head goes down. In my head anyway, that, that, that's what it makes sense. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye